former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakub Dokara, has dumped the ruling of Progressive Congress for the People's Democratic Party. This comes barely 48 hours after Dugara and some aggrieved Northern APC leaders declared support for the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Aubakar. This followed several months of political permutations as the Northern Elders Consultative Forum, including the Christian leaders in the All Progressive Congress in the North, on Friday formally adopted Atiku. According to them, Atiku was adopted following the result of the Northern Christian leaders to work with their Muslim counterparts to adopt one of the presidential candidates in a bid to defeat the same faith presidential ticket of the APC. Dugara was received into the party during the presidential campaign by the party's presidential candidate and former vice president Atiku Abubakar in the nation's commercial capital, Lagos State. The People's Democratic Party PDP has condemned in strong terms the constant brazen attacks, threats and negative labelling of the media in Nigeria by the flustering and frustrated Tinubu Shatima presidential campaign organization. In a statement on Monday, the opposition party asserted that Nigerians are appalled by the inflammatory declaration of hostility, animosity and labelling of a media house by the Tinubu Shatima presidential campaign as part of its scheme to intimidate the media in Nigeria from carrying out its constitutional duty of providing Nigerians the legitimate and credible platform to examine, review and interrogate the policies and programs of those aspiring to hold the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. According to the PPD, the action of the Tinubu Shatima presidential campaign is an unpardonable display of intolerance, aversion and hatred for the media and a direct affront on Section 22 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. This confirms apprehension by Nigerians of APC's plot to discount critical sections of our Constitution to stifle the media, erode free speech and foist a fascist system in our country.